Nabisco, abbreviated from the earlier name National Biscuit Company, is an American manufacturer of cookies and snacks headquartered in East Hanover, New Jersey. The company is a subsidiary of Illinois based Mondela's International. Nabisco's plant in Chicago, a 1,800,000 square foot square meters production facility at 7,300 S. Kedzie Avenue, is the largest bakery in the world, employing more than 1,200 workers and producing around 320 million pounds of snack foods annually. Its products include Chips Ahoy, Belvita, Oreos, Ritz Crackers, Teddy Grahams, Triscuits, and Wheat Thins for the United States, United Kingdom, Mexico, Bolivia, Venezuela, as well as other parts of South America. All Nabisco cookie or cracker products are branded Christie in Canada. Prior to the Post Cereals merger, the cereal division kept the Nabisco name in Canada. The proof of purchase on their products is marketed as a brand seal. The Nabisco name became redundant in Canada after Kraft took over. Nabisco opened corporate offices as the National Biscuit Company in the world's first skyscraper, the home insurance building in the Chicago Loop in 1898. <laughs> <laughs> Logo Nabisco's trademark, a diagonal ellipse with a series of antenna-like lines protruding from the top orb and web, forms the base of its logo and can be seen imprinted on Oreo cookies in addition to Nabisco product boxes and literature. It has been claimed in company promotional material to be an early European symbol for quality. It may be derived from a medieval Italian printer's mark that represented the triumph of the moral and spiritual over the evil and the material or to represent the act of winnowing, separating grain from chaff. History Topic Company timeline In 1792, Pearson and Sons Bakery opened in Massachusetts. They made a biscuit called pilot bread for consumption on long sea voyages. Josiah Bent coined the term cracker for a crunchy biscuit they produced in 1801. In 1889, William Moore acquired Pearson and Sons Bakery, Josiah Bent Bakery, and six other bakeries to start the New York Biscuit Company. Adolphus Green 1843 to 1917 started the American Biscuit and Manufacturing Company in 1890 after acquiring 40 different bakeries. William Moore, Adolphus Green, and John G. Zeller Richmond Steam Bakery merged in 1898 to form the National Biscuit Company. Adolphus Green was named president. The name Nabisco was first used as part of a name for a sugar wafer in 1901. John G. Zeller was president of National Biscuit Company from 1923 to 1931. Nabisco celebrated its golden anniversary in 1948. By 1971, Nabisco had become the corporate name. In 1981, Nabisco merged with Standard Brands, which then merged with R.J. Reynolds in 1985. Kraft General Foods acquired Nabisco ready-to-eat cold cereals from R.J.R. Nabisco in 1993 the cereal brands are now owned by Post Holdings. In 1999, Nabisco acquired Favorite Brands International. In 2000, Philip Morris Companies Inc. acquired Nabisco and merged it with Kraft Foods, one of the largest mergers in the food industry. In 2011, Kraft Foods announced it was splitting, making the snack food business a separate company to be called Mandela's International LLC. <inaudible> Origins Nabisco dates its founding to 1898, a decade when the bakery business underwent a major consolidation. Early in the decade, bakeries throughout the country were consolidated regionally, into companies such as Chicago's American Biscuit and Manufacturing Company which was formed from 40 Midwestern bakeries in 1830, the New York Biscuit Company consisting of seven Eastern bakeries, and the United States Baking Company. In 1898, the National Biscuit Company was formed from the combination of those three. The merger resulted in a company with 114 bakeries across the U.S. and headquartered in New York City. The word, biscuit, is a traditional term for what are now termed, cookies, and crackers, in American English, though British English retains, biscuit, to refer to these baked goods. Key to the founding of Nabisco was Pittsburgh baking mogul Sylvester S. Marvin. 
Marvin arrived in Pittsburgh in 1863 and established himself in the cracker business, founding SS Marvin Co. Its products included crackers, cakes, and breads. Marvin was called the Edison of manufacturing for his innovations in the bakery business. By 1888, it was the largest in the U.S., and the centerpiece of the National Biscuit Company. Marvin was also a member of the elite South Fork Fishing and Hunting Club of Johnstown Flood fame. The F. A. Kennedy Steam Bakery in Boston, known for inventing Fig Newtons was one of the very first acquisitions made by Nabisco, joining the company in 1898. Also vital to the founding of Nabisco were John and Emily Malloy. The couple started a bakery in a subway in Chicago and created the Lorna Dune. Upon the bakery's closing, the recipe for the first Nabisco cookie, the Lorna Dune, was purchased. Topic. Packaging breakthrough After the consolidation, the president of Nabisco, Adolphus Green, asked Frank Peters to create a package to distribute fresher products. This paved its way for Inner Seal Package, whose logo is a prototype for the Nabisco Thing, an animated character created in 1995 to sell its products to kids. The Inner Seal Package is a system of interfolded wax paper and cardboard to seal in the freshness of the product. At the beginning of his presidency, Green decided the National Biscuit Company, often shortened to NBC, needed a new idea that grabbed the public's attention. He got it when his employees created a new cracker that was flakier and lighter than any of their competitors' versions. A son of Robert Gare, the package manufacturer, said, You need a name. And from this sentence came the name Unita. The Unita biscuit looked promising, but Green had to make sure it got to customers fresh, so it was the first to use the inner seal package in 1898. Until then, crackers were sold in branded and packed loosely in barrels. Mothers would give their sons a paper bag and ask them to run to the store and get the bag filled with crackers. National Biscuit Company used this as part of Unita biscuit advertising symbol, which depicts a boy carrying a pack of Unita biscuit in the rain. In 2009, after over 110 years, Nabisco discontinued the Unita biscuit, concerned that the product was not sufficiently profitable. Topic: 20th century. The first use of Nabisco was in a cracker brand first produced by National Biscuit Company in 1901. The firm later introduced either through development or acquisition fig newtons nabisco wafers early 1900s later sold in one form as biscos a sugar wafer originally containing a variety of flavored fillings anola wafers early 1900s later discontinued a chocolate wafer with chocolate filling barnum's animal crackers 1902 cameos 1910 lorna dunes 1912 shortbread oreos 1912 and famous chocolate wafers 1924 a thin wafer without filling in 1924, the National Biscuit Company introduced a snack in a sealed packet called the Peanut Sandwich Packet. They soon added a second, the Sorbetta Sandwich Packet. These allowed salesmen to sell to soda fountains, road stands, milk bars, lunch rooms, and news stands. Sales increased, and in 1928, the company started to use the name NAB. The term nabs today is used to generically mean any type of snack crackers, most commonly in the southern U.S. During World War II, the company manufactured K rations for U.S. troops. The first use of the red triangular logo was in 1952. The company name was changed to Nabisco in 2001. Topic: <laughs> Brands. 100 calorie packs Arrowroot Bacon dippers Belvita Better cheddars Cameo Captain's table Cheese nips, small cheese crackers Chips Ahoy Chicken in a biscuit Chocolate wafers Club social Corn diggers Crispers, a Christie brand of snack crisps sold in Canada Dad's Cookie C.1929 Canada Do Dad's Fig Newtons Fralini de Oro Siwa Fudgy O Cookies Canada Giggles also called as Trakinas in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Brazil, Argentina 
Good Thins Heyday Cookie Bars Honey Made Honey Brand In A Biscuit Cool Stuff Craker Brand Lorna Dune Malomars Mr. Salty Pretzels Nabisco Classics Nilla Nutter Butter, a peanut-shaped sandwich cookie with a peanut butter filling, which was introduced to the public in 1969. The distinctive peanut shape and texture was designed by William A. Ternier, who also created the design for Nabisco's Oreo cookie. Nabisco launched a convenience store pack of the Nutter Butter brand—known as Nutter Butter Bites—featuring cookies that are round in profile, lacking the distinctive peanut shape but retaining the same texture. However, the vast majority of the Nutter Butter cookies sold are of the original peanut shape. A 2004 estimate stated that over 34 million pounds of the cookie are sold annually, and that more than 1 billion are consumed annually. Orchard Crisps Oreo Oreo Cakesters List of Oreo varieties Oro Siwa Pecans Pirate Potato Chipsters Premium Plus Premium Saltines Rice Thins Ritz Crackers Royal Gelatin Dessert Royal Lunch Sea Rounds Social Tea Sports Sugar Rings Team Flakes Teddy Grahams Thinsations Toasted Chips Toastettes Triscuit Twigs Unita Biscuit Urasaiwa Wheat Squares Wheat Thins Zuzu Ginger Snaps Zwieback Toast <laughs> Mergers and acquisitions Topic acquisitions The National Biscuit Company acquired the Shredded Wheat Company, maker of Triscuit and Shredded Wheat Cereal, and Christie, Brown and Company of Toronto in 1928, but all of the Nabisco cookie and cracker products in Canada still use the name Christie. It also acquired F.H. Bennett Company, maker of Milk Bone Dog Biscuits, in 1931. When Kraft bought Nabisco, it included Christie. In 1981, Nabisco merged with Standard Brands, maker of Planters Nuts, Baby Ruth and Butterfinger Candy Bars, Royal Gelatin, Fleischmann's and Blue Bonnet Margarines, amongst others. The company was then renamed Nabisco Brands, Inc. At that time, it also acquired the Life Savers brand from the ER. Squib Company, makers of Bubble Yum and Care Free Gum. Commercials were revised as a result of the merger by January 1983. R. J. Reynolds merger In 1985, Nabisco was bought by R. J. Reynolds, forming R. J. R. Nabisco. After three years of mixed results, the company became one of the hotspots in the 1980s leveraged buyout mania. The company was in auction with two bidders, F. Ross Johnson, the company's president and CEO, and Kohlberg Kravis Roberts, a private equity partnership. The company was sold to KKR in what was then the biggest leveraged buyout in history, described in the book Barbarians at the Gate, The Fall of RJR Nabisco, and a subsequent film. Topic subsequent acquisitions and divestitures In 1989 RJR Nabisco Inc. sold its Chun King Foods division to Yo Hyop Seng Limited and Fullerton Holdings Private. Limited for $52 million to reduce its debt from its $24.5 billion buyout by Kohlberg Kravis Roberts & Co. In December 1989 RJR Nabisco sold its Del Monte canned fruits and vegetables business in South America to Poly Peck International plc. One year later, in 1990 RJR Nabisco sold Curtis Candy, which owned the Baby Ruth & Butterfinger brands, to Nestle. RJR also sold Lou, Bielan and other European biscuit brands to Group Danone, only reunited in 2007 after Nabisco's present parent, Kraft Foods, bought Danone's biscuit operations for €5.3 billion. Euros. In 1994 RJR sold its breakfast cereal business primarily the shredded wheat franchise to Kraft Foods and the international licenses to General Mills, which later became part of the Cereal Partners Worldwide joint venture with Nestle. 
Also in 1994, RJR acquired Knox Gelatin and integrated the shredded wheat franchise into the Post Foods portfolio. Post continues to sell the product today. In 1995 Nestle agreed to buy the Ortega Mexican Foods business from Nabisco Inc. That same year, RJR Nabisco also acquired the North American margarine and table spreads business of Kraft Foods. This purchase included Parquet, Touch of Butter and Chiffon. In 1998 Nabisco Holdings announced its sale of its margarine and egg substitute business to Conagra of Omaha. In 1997 the brands of Fleischmann's, Blue Bonnet and Parquet had sales of $480 million. It also sold its college in broth brand to H.J. Heinz and its Venezuelan Del Monte operations to Del Monte Foods. In 1999, RJR Nabisco's food and tobacco empire fell apart when they sold its international tobacco division to Japan Tobacco for $7.8 billion. The Altria Group formerly Philip Morris acquired Nabisco in 2000 for about $19.2 billion. Philip Morris then combined Nabisco with Kraft. That acquisition was approved by the Federal Trade Commission subject to the divestiture of products in five areas, three Jell-O and Royal brands types of products dry mix gelatin dessert, dry mix pudding, no-bake desserts, intense mints such as Altoids, and baking powder. Kraft Foods, at the time also a subsidiary of Altria, merged with Nabisco. In 2006, Nabisco sold its Milk Bone Pet Snacks to Del Monte Foods Co. for $580 million. Kraft Foods was spun off from Altria, taking its Nabisco subsidiary with it, in 2007. In January 2007, Cream of Wheat was sold to B&G Foods. <laughs> Legal battles In 1997, the National Advertising Division of the Council of Better Business Bureaus became concerned with an ad campaign for Planters Deluxe Mixed Nuts. The initial commercial featured a man and monkey deserted on an island. They discover a crate of Planters Peanuts and rejoice in the peanuts' positive health facts. Nabisco made a detailed statement describing how their peanuts were healthier than most other snack products, going as far as comparing the nutritional facts of Planter's peanuts to those of potato chips, cheddar cheese chips, and popcorn. Technically, the commercials complied with United States Food and Drug Administration regulations, and they were allowed to continue. However, as requested by the National Advertising Division, Nabisco agreed to make fat content disclosure more conspicuous in future commercials. The company's A1 steak sauce was the subject of a legal battle against a venue called Arnie's Deli in 1991. The delicatessen was selling and using a homemade sauce called A2 sauce. The verdict favored Nabisco. Topic: <laughs> NASCAR sponsorship. From 2002 to 2005, Nabisco and Kraft jointly sponsored both Dale Earnhardt, Inc., and Roush Racing. Earnhardt Jr. won four races in a row at Daytona International Speedway with Nabisco sponsorship. Kraft and Nabisco sponsored a part-time Sprint Cup effort in car number 81 driven by Jason Keller and John Andretti and fielded by Dale Earnhardt, Inc. Nabisco also sponsored Dale Earnhardt Jr. In the 2010 Subway Jalapeno 250 at Daytona International Speedway in July 2010 with their Oreo, Ritz Brands and Tony Stewart with the Ritz brand in the 2010 DRIVE4COPD300 at Daytona International Speedway in 2010. 